Hello everybody, welcome to this week's Inkscape up update. My name is Martin, I'm an Inkscape developer, developing features and fixes for everyday Inkscape users. Um, I couldn't do a normal update video this week because I'm at the Inkscape Hackfest in Germany and um, I'm actually borrowing a an older laptop and I uh, I tried to do some video editing on it and um, yeah, it wasn't it wasn't a it wasn't a goer as we, we we would say. So I'm going to try and do this in a one take recording, and we'll see how, how that goes. Um, so uh, uh, a hackfest is basically a type of con conference where you essentially uh, program code together. And uh, this week was actually pr pretty exciting. We had eleven p people, and so what I did was I. Um, did a bunch of programming, a bunch of bug fixing, but I also did like per programming where we, we worked together with a bunch of other people sitting side side by side. Um, we did, um, I did interviews. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take those in interviews and I'm going to put them uh, in future v videos so you guys can hear the stories of the other Inkscape developers and get, get to know them a bit. Um, and I've got some general Inkscape uh, hackfest for footage so that I can maybe construct a video about that hackfest as well. Um, but uh, I did I did actually get some work done. It wasn't just all fun. Um, so the first thing is is that we, we wanted to do the the alpha r release and um, one of those one of the things we wanted to do is to make the alpha release better um, by allowing more testers to participate. And this meant um, adding two new features. One is the uh, crash recovery, which I added, uh, which I talked about in previous videos, but it essentially means that if Inkscape crashes, um, the file will be shown to you in the startup, the welcome screen as a as a crash recovery file. And when you load it, um, it automatically reassigns the file file name to the correct place. So your workflow can simply just be oh, just open up the crash recovery version and you can continue on from where you are. This should hopefully make it easier for people to use Inkscape in a more productive or intensive capacity where they may have been shy to do so before because it was more of a hassle. Uh, reducing that barrier hopefully will encourage more people to be able to test. Um, the second is what we worked on in this Hackfest, which was uh, essentially the, the pop-up message that comes up when Inkscape has crashed has been improved. Um, to include a crash log or a backtrace. Um, this is basically a log of everything that happened just before Inkscape crashed. And programmers use it to, to essentially nail down exactly where in the code something went wrong and fix it. Um, think of it like the, the black box from an aeroplane crash. This is sort of like that for a, for a piece of software. And what it basically allows you to do is select a piece of text and paste it into a, an issue in the tra tracker. And that gives the developer sort of like all of the information that they will need to, to fix that crash, hopefully. Um, so those being bundled in, into the alpha should make that e like easier to just uh, invite more people in to participate, which is the, the hope. Um, I, I did a bunch of bug fixing in the bug accelerator pro program. Um, I rewrote basically the, the move page operations for the multi-page work uh, for both the the import multi-pages so basically you add pages on top of the existing documents and for dragging the page around the screen um, essentially the the moving of clones was completely broken and the clones would just go all, all, all over the place um, this work essentially reduces the code that I that I was using to move all, all the objects and I'm using the existing code that we already had to do a fine uh, movements uh, and that hopefully should mean that that centralization should mean that the most corner cases should be covered hopefully um, I did do a tweak to the start up screen so that to put the browse f files back at the top um, that had broken because I, I, I saw I sorted them but I didn't sort that back to the top um, I fixed the icons in the uh, uh, symbols that dialog, were, which was using, sometimes it would use cached icons from other icon, uh, from other symbols, documents. So you would end up with very strange uh, icons attached to, you know, the wrong, the wrong names. Um, 
And um, yeah, there was a bunch of other little crash crashes, and I think some stuff that I worked on with with per programming. Uh, so I basically just sat next to some other developers, and we we coded together on some on some things. There was also a lot of meetings this week, um, a lot of talking about how to plan, uh, how to organize and skate better, how to spend our money better. Uh, all these kinds of like intensive talks that uh, are much better to do in in, in a face to face. Um, Big, big thanks to everybody who was able to come and participate. And um, a big thank thank you to all of my sponsors um, on Patreon and um, to the Inkscape project itself that paid for me to come to the, to the Hackfest. Um, this is really letting me sort of like do the work and, and hopefully make it better for everybody. So uh, hopefully a regular update next week and um, I'll get more of that footage to you as soon as I can. Have a good week.